Steve Mason, just when we saw bond yields moving higher earlier this month, they've turned around. Ten-year was at two and a quarter. Now it's back at two percent. Will we get down to 1.7 percent like we saw in February? I think it could bounce around. I mean, it's been in a range for a while now. And depending on how some of the economic data comes out, and you've seen a lot of strong buying trickle through with the stimulus in, in Europe, and there is still this search for yield. So when you look at it on a relative standpoint versus some of the other gov government bonds out there, you, know, you could see some continued interest there. And how are you preparing your credit portfolio for a potential rate hike? So we're seeing a lot of opportunity more in a long-short approach. The big change that we've seen, in, in especially in the corporate uh, uh, credit space, is a return of some of the short opportunities. You know, shorting credit for the past several years has been very difficult. The most recent iteration has been in energy. Uh, there's been a lot of stress in the energy markets. Been a bounce back uh, of late, but even the most recent few days, you're starting to see some uh, selling off there again. So we think that'll be a big theme as you get you know, into a more mature part in the credit cycle. It's hard to believe, but we're about six years into this recovery. And that's a point in a recovery where you really do start to see some cracks in credit, froth being built up, et cetera. So we think a long, short approach is going to be a better risk-adjusted way to play credit uh, in the next few years. All right, let's talk about some of your favorite longs then. Uh, sovereigns here, European bonds are doing well, sans Greece. Tell me what you like on the long side. On the, in the, on the long side, there are some good opportunities in the high-yield market. You really have to dig deeper to find areas where you are being compensated. But that's why we think an opportunistic approach there is, is warranted. Um, the volatility has increased, so you are seeing bouts of some forced selling, and that's created some good shorter-term uh, long opportunities. You know, some of the sectors has been pretty diverse, but you know, some of the industrials uh, look attractive. There's some consumer uh, names, some retail names that could be uh, interesting, and then on the on the uh, short side, uh, you know, some of the energy and related complexes still could be interesting. And do you deal at all with foreign bonds and any love for emerging markets or, or Europe right now? Um, not particularly right now. Uh, you know, at times there's, there's been interest there, but I think there's plenty to do on the domestic side right now. All right. Thanks a lot, Steve. Thank you. Thank you for watching The Street.